Last night before we went to bed, um, Dawn put some nuts in the Instant Pot to dehydrate them. Uh, we had soaked a pound of pecans for about six hours in a salt water mixture and um, then drained them and then we like to, um, we used to put them in the oven and now we can put them in the Instant Pot and it's pretty quiet. We couldn't hear it while, he was, while we were sleeping. Um, he had, um, you know, set it to run all night. It's fixing to go off here in a little bit, another 49 minutes. And, uh, we'll open it up and see how dry they are or aren't and probably reset it for a little while. But it's pretty cool. It's nice and quiet. It's keeping a constant 150 degree temperature with this special, um, fryer lid that's got a burner in it. And, um, we're going to check it out. You know, we used to do it in the oven. It would be days and we would have to do some special setting on the oven to get down to 150 55 degrees and then it'd be in my way when I was cooking other stuff and so this is pretty cool um I'll put a link in the video description about why we dehydrate nuts and the instructions for it um but I'm excited about it it seems so far so good working out pretty good for us mm -hmm. Don went ahead and opened it up to shake them around, and um, right. we're really surprised that they are pretty Ooh. much done. He's probably going to let it go that final hour, but you can hear they sound crunchy as he's moving them around. It used to take longer in the oven, even at the same temperature, so again, I would say Instant Pot for the win with dehydrating stuff. Yeah, that, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean. If we can do it in 10 hours... A overnight, pound of pecans yeah. overnight, that is, that's good. It's two pounds per pecans. It's two? Is it's two a, bags, but I think a it's a, a I think it's a pound total. All right. I think so. About $10 worth for, at Mr. Ball's Produce. Yeah, so for sure. It just we'll it restarted time. back up. You put the lid on, it's good to go, huh? See, this, um, this special instant pot has this little platform you set the burner lid down on so you don't damage it. Yeah. Everybody's here, including our friend up the hill, who has now let me touch him. It's good he kind of doesn't come any farther than this, because if he did, Tux would be up here giving him what for, let me assure you. Hey, buddy. Hi Stripe, good morning. Good morning. Hi buddy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're upside down. Well, I'm very impressed with the uh, Instapot air fryer. At least this de dehumidifying setting. I mean, I remember if you could get it 36 to 48 hours of the uh, this in the oven, uh, if you could get them dry in that amount of time, and you know, I'd take them out and shake them every you know eight hours or so. Um, that was kind of a pain in you know what. But this thing is just I poured them in there last ten time. hours. I mean, God, that's Five. just like a miracle has occurred. Yeah, I mean, they. I think I could have. I put the lid back on there, but. Uh, really more just to see if it would automatically start back up, which it did. I didn't have to you know, literally just take the lid off, set it down, shake them, put them back in there. Um, the uh, only problem I have with this is I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to need any more but ways to eat, consume more pecans. I've already eaten a ton of them, and I mean now they're going to be going down like candy now, and it's just like you know they're going to. All the pecan trees are going to declare a holiday when I pass away. Oh boy, Don's gone. <laughs> All our babies are going to get... Kind of like JB and his shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what JB always says. Yeah, the know, shrimp are going to have a party when... A celebration uh, when he passes away. Yeah. Because he eats so many shrimp. <sighs> so it's Saturday and that means we don't get to have our outside time. Oh, that's right. That's right. No outside time. No newspaper. No... No... Newspaper. no, no mm, well, I'm going to sit out there without you. That's right, but I'll um, I'll take you somewhere today, sweet pea. I got some place in mind. Oh, well, that's good. That's that's helpful. Am I allowed to say? Are you sure. prepared? Have you braced yourself? Here, let me brace myself. <laughs> 
I want to go do the three mile walk at Raven Rock and see the pretty leaf covers colors over at Raven Rock. Well, that's not too bad. We can do that. It won't cost you anything. That's right. The park's free. Favorite, my favorite thing. Compliments of. Yeah, Raven Rock. Um, we haven't been in a while, and That's it's the right, right week of the year to go. Yeah, although it's a little warm, but I, I, it's not going to be bad. I'll, I'll wear shorts. We'll be in the shade. Yeah. I said yesterday Don and I would try to get out today for yeah. a drive so he could test out the autopilot set speed changes, see what he thinks about right. about it, and... um. We're headed to Raven Rock State Park via Guardian Angel, which is actually in the wrong direction. Uh, Michelle and I left something over there yesterday. They're holding it for us. I said I'd go grab it. No yep. big deal. Um, but then we'll be going toward Lillington and then over to Raven Rock State Park. Hopefully we'll get some pretty color. And uh, it'll be a good day. But we'll be talking about a little bit about the... Yeah speed limit stuff as we go. So now that we both read it three times and still sort of get it but got to see it to really get it I think we're going to um, the car autopilot and then um, scroll down here and it said whatever you had in here before it forgot it implied that Don had five over and I don't see it there. Right and I'm just going to change it to uh, three over for now. Because we're not flying, I'm not, if I was on the interstate, I'd do five over or, or something like that. First of all, uh, uh, the speedometer on Jules, I've done it with GPS, is about, at 70 miles an hour, it's about two to three minutes, uh, miles per hour slow. Is that So right? this, yeah, so you actually, that would just that basically be the speed, speed limit. limit. That's right, that's what I was trying to say. Yes, thank you. So I guess on the way back, we'll try percentage. Yeah, well, what's this speed limit? What's this? What's this one down oh, here? Oh, there's your five mile an hour. So that's well, a different... Well, this is an offset. Oh, gosh. You know, here we go. When set speed is set to speed limit, which is when it is, one of the following offsets can be applied to detect speed limits. Apply a fixed speed offset for all roads. Percentages apply a percentage offset that varies based on all right so i guess this is going to be the one and this is just has to do with the warning maybe yeah it'll warn you if now you get a an right. offset for a warning or something versus right. this, an offset for adjusting yeah, i think that's what it's saying so now, i don't know guys this is a little complicated if you ask me so this is going to adjust it for like I said, at 70, it's off. The speedometer on Jules seems to be a little slow. And so this will get closer to the true speed limit. This is if I go five miles an hour over, it's going to ding me, which is what I want it to, to do. I don't want it. I don't like, I don't, I'm trying to slow down, enjoy the ride, drive, and not always be in a rush to get places. So, uh, you know, I have a lead foot, so. Right, well, all of this is nice, but the thing we're really looking for is when we're on a 55 my, mile an my. hour road and we end up on a 45 mile an hour road, we want the car to drop down to the 45 mile an hour adjusted relative percentage, whatever speed. Right. We don't want it to stay at 55. No. And the same thing's true in the other direction. God forbid we're in 45. We get out of the city limits, it hops up to 55, and we look down and we're still at 45. What we really want the, the car to do is to keep up with the speed. Limit. speed. So the, I, this is all nice. But is it keeping up with the speed any better? Because there were many times Don would complain, oh, it's 55 now, I'm still doing 45. Or, Vice you know, yeah. we would hear the chime going off. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to have to bump the speed down. So right. I want the car to handle it for us. So right. let's see if it handles it any better. I don't know. We haven't watched any videos on no, this I yet. No, I haven't. No. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of videos, but it's hard. I don't know. We have we have not watched a video right. on it. We like to come out here and try it for ourselves, I guess, in all yeah. fairness. If it's not walk up and use for us, it, it probably won't be walk up and use for other people. So right. let's see what it does. Yep. So it would be a 23 mile, 34 minute drive to Raven Rock if we were going straight there. Yeah, but we're going to do a detour. So the guy's back here today with his truck working on swapping out more of those lights. I feel for him. I mean, how do you do that when it's so busy? They'd yeah. waited another week 
guardian angel be closed on Sunday and Monday, it would have, they could have easily done it. Pretty quick. So we were doing 35. It switched to 25 speed limit. I saw the speed limit sign change, but it still thinks we could go 38 mile an hour. Yeah, so I, I don't like that. And that's not what we wanted to do. Yeah. We wanted to lower the speed limit down, right. respectively. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah. Well, how do we get it to do that? Are we just not doing something right? Yeah, well, we're going to turn the offset off. Okay. Okay. We're, we're just going to turn the offset off. Let me get out of this guy's way. We may not be able to change it while we're running. waiting to come across wow. here. Did you get that? <laughs> that was all them. That, you mean Jewel stopped? That, Jewel, I didn't do that. I swear I did not. I wasn't paying attention. I was farting with the big screen and Jewel stopped at the crosswalk because there were people. Well, I heard that they have to be in the street, yeah, not on the curb, or, but she certainly was aware there were people crossing well, there so that's good. well yeah i did um it, it's busy down here today too we should get this on this camera yeah because this camera will show how close or not they were i guess we could do the honk call. right well so you're not even on um you're not even on uh cruise control or autopilot so she just saw people and stopped uh i don't i think i was on I think I was. Okay. I think I was. Because I was trying to lower the offset down and I hadn't done anything just because I wasn't on autopilot. I was on traffic aware cruise control. So, uh, anyway, my point being is uh, we will stay tuned. Alright, so she knows it's 25 and it says 25. And there's nobody behind me, and up here it's going to change to 35. Okay. That went a model. No. Yes, that was a model S. All right, here comes the 35. I can see it there. Yeah, here it comes, and we're past the 35, and she still says 25. So, I don't know what, I guess What they, good is reading the speed limit if you won't go the speed limit? Right. I would guess what they've done now is they've at least Well, it wasn't added, working before either. Not really. Not in all cases. Right. I guess what they've done is added the ability now that if they start reading the speed limit sign, they'll be able to differentiate between your offset and how you want to handle the speed limit. That would be my guess. I don't know. Right. Well, I want a follow the speed limit plus this offset. Right. I want to follow the speed limit. I don't, I'll deal with the offset. I'll, if I don't like, if it slows me down too much, I'll speed up. If it, uh, the offset would be cherry on the cake, but I just want it to follow the speed limit. And I will adjust from there instead of depending on me to adjust to the speed limit. Uh, me to pick up on the speed limit because some of these things change a lot. And, and so I've watched a lot of the full self-driving videos, Zeb's in particular, of course. Um, so I, I guess I just need to chat with him like, is it really following the speed limit for you when it's in full self-driving mode? Because obviously I think the car can do this, should do this, probably doing it in the full self-driving beta so maybe it's a mute point and we just wait until we get the full self-driving beta although I don't just want it to do it in full self-driving mode right I want it to do it when I'm just on traffic aware cruise control autopilot or whatever you call it yeah you're an autopilot we're crossing a 55 mile an hour right. sign right now it updated the speed limit sign but did not up your speed gorgeous day out there Jules says it's 75 degrees. Um, we're seeing a little bit of color. And I don't know that we're at peak or I would call it a lot of color, but we're seeing more color. 
I'm gonna say more, more, more color, more color than last week. So Raven Rock State Park has a three mile trail where um, it's mostly in the woods, but you get to go down and, uh, along the Cape Fear River at the actual Raven Rock, which is a large rock formation. And then there's another lookout that's very high above the um, above the river. What are you trying to tell me? I think we fixed the slow. It might slow to 45. It, it normally used to slow to 50. At this 45 speed limit, it was slow to 50 because I have five over. We're fixing the cross. In other words, everything we've been doing now the is speed, wanting it to increase, increase the speed. speed. This is an example where it may slow down the yeah. speed. Well, it has always slowed down. Okay. Now, what speed is it going to slow down to? Is it going to slow down to 50? Or because on offset is zero on the speed limit thing. So here comes the 45. I see it. So if it slows to 45, it, it's using the new setting. If it does, it did like, not see that 45 it's sign. Not a four, maybe this is maybe the 45. Okay. That was warning you. A warning. Okay. Right, so it just and acted, it did. Border stair restricted speed to 50. It slowed down. But this is exactly what it's been doing forever. Right. Well, There's and no that's change. because it wants to make sure you're not doing more than five mile an hour right. over. So that rule kicks in there and drops you down. So it's working in the slow down, but it's not so much working in the speed up. No, it's just, it's not, it's, there has been no consistency. Been, there's, there's been no changes to the behavior of the car whatsoever that I have been able to detect none, zero. They have given you a setting in the UI that is completely being ignored. With the exception of when I first set the speed limit thing, it did set it to like 38 uh, when I was at that 35. But other than that, it hasn't done anything. Right. Well, I think let's try percentage because that's, I think, really the new part. We're going to put it on percentage and let's just do 3%. Yeah. There, you can see it now. Let's just do 3% and see how it acts now. It's done 48 instead of 50. So I guess I should say 100% being ignored. It's being used from whenever I set the speed with by pushing down one time it, it set it instead of 50 it's doing 48 now. So that's that offset but it ain't gonna do that. Right now, now it went up to 55 but it didn't increase. So I moved it up. I don't think you're going to be able to see the percentage there unless you do the math. Set it. I don't. Know. Out of the blue on 55, then it would do the math to figure out where to put it at. But since you flicked it up and we're already on it, we're changing it manually. It's not going to override you. Yeah. So look, we can fix this problem. Just put a maintain the speed limit. Yes or no add the offset or add the percentage or not like Don said that's icing on the cake but just should I maintain the speed limit for you yes or no <laughs> I understand you're not going to let me be an autopilot on these country roads and go more than five over I get that's a rule okay no problem but that wording in there and no settings and then it's still not maintaining the speed limit it's just not working the way we want it to work We may not be actually going to the park today. I, I mean, I don't want to be out here with 5,000 people and I've n we've never come and not been able to get into the parking lot. So I'm thinking that that's just all people waiting to get in there. Get in there. I mean, it is a gorgeous fall day. You don't want to go to the right. It's a dirt road. I know. I'm trying to turn around. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. I'm really disappointed. Area but 
to capacity, capacity temporarily, temporarily closed. So I guess there's a limit on the number of cars in WOW. Well, this is sort of out in the middle of nowhere. And um, right, I know it's, it's, I know people come out here and it's popular, but usually there's like 20 cars out here. Yeah, I've never been here. I've never, I mean, I, when we've been here, I mean, I, I've I, never I, been here, been, I can't even, three people we've seen. Right, I have pictures from November the 3rd where we were out here as a family and we took some great pictures and it was, so there were 10 cars instead of five. I guess when you can't go inside anywhere, more people go outside somewhere. Maybe that's what it is too. Well, well I think it's the good weather. I think it's the, um, the fact that um, uh, the election's over, people are, you know, uh, looking forward to things. It's a great day. The colors are it's better color today than it was last week. Yeah. And um, you know, this could be our I don't want to call it the last hurrah before cool, you know, we start having yucky weekends. And who knows, there could be somebody having a unofficial birthday party or something like that. You know, I don't know. Oh well, sorry, I was really looking forward to I was really looking forward to bringing you some good pictures today. That view looking down on the Cape Fear River is uh, really pretty. So I tell you what I'll do, I'll dig up five to ten pictures from other years and I'll put them in the video now. We cut across from the Lillington area to Sanford. Yeah, which is it's really not incredible out of our way. Don says we'll make one of our classic circles on the Tesla Fly map that I like so much. It's a whole lot more interesting than just a straight line there and a straight line back. So what did you want to get here? Uh, you know, we bought one of those um, uh, magnetic uh, tissue box glove um, Face mask, Ma yeah. cardboard box holders. Yeah, you know the magnetized box. Yeah, red. Right, and we're gonna get a second one because that one has worked out really well. And we have other things that yeah. would be very convenient right. to put right. magnetized right. to a, one of our toolboxes well, or something. Case, I'm probably going to use. It has screw holes, so you can use screws because my um, cabinets are not magnetic. They're uh, the one thing I got it hooked to right now is the magnets work great. But for my uh, tissues, uh, uh, it's not magnetic. Yeah, we're just gonna get two. One for gloves, one for mask, one for tissues. Right. So we'll, we'll have it all covered. There's my Harbor Freight girl. She loves coming to Harbor Freight because you know what she does? She buys bins. For Legos. For Lego Legos. Storage bins. Yeah. I need an empty one for my current project. So it just has current project bricks. Right. That's my excuse and I'm sticking by it. Sounds great. Harbor Freight's got Electric lawnmowers now. Atlas brand. Tool only, 319. Okay. And then. The two and a half amp hour battery, which is. Don't bother. Yeah, pretty much. $60. Yeah, uh, no, that's. The battery's 109. For the two point. Two and a half amp hour. Wow. Well, the battery's not a good deal. Right. Yeah, I would say you need at least two of those because um, 80 volts for two and a half amp hour is a, is a, uh, a Oh, that's right. This is not the battery. 56 Ryobi system. Yeah. This is the 80, yeah, huh? But our five amp, five amp hour at 56 volts is like 250 watt, watt hour battery. Um, but okay. this is uh, 
200 watt hour so even then it's but it's only a hundred bucks the, the our battery is um oh yeah oh god yeah yeah 300 bucks i'm here at the sanford walmart and no i'm not buying chips i'm looking for big jugs of pork rinds you know walmart sells them online but they don't sell them in store i would have to say at the fuquay walmart you can get che Utz cheese puffs in the big thing um but not here even though all right this is what they have in fuquay but on the regular chips aisle i'm on some other aisle now but you can get pretzels and cheese balls and pub mix but no large pork rinds or at least if they have them they're sold out oh my goodness they are so cute Well, I got coffee filters and some organic coffee to try and a couple other things, but no pork rinds. I'm just going to go online to Walmart and order them because we're having trouble getting them through Amazon. So you and the gentleman out there were both waiting on spouses? Uh, yes, that's correct. And he was interested in the why? A little bit. Uh, he, um, he knew about Teslas, so um, he knew it was a Tesla, so that... You know that is and pretty impressive that you know he knew about he knew it was a tesla he didn't know it was a y um he asked me which one it was and you know i, I basically talked to him about it michael and he he said that um you know he likes his gas car however he said he it's costing him um nine dollars a day for gas so um you know it's like wow maybe you could you could fall out of love with your gas yeah, car he could fall out of love with that well he said he, he he has to drive he he drives somebody to work his buddy to work and then he has to go to work and he drives so and the point is uh nine bucks a day what would that be four gallons let's say uh four gallons um so at 20 yeah that's 100 miles a day uh you know 100 and change a, a day so yeah, so your equivalent, you know, you used to drive a, a hundred yep. miles a day. Yep. So that's basically what he's doing. Uh, and he says it cost him nine bucks a day. And I said, well, it cost us 50, 55, 60 bucks a month to do that same thing. I said, it's basically two to three cents a mile. It depends on. Uh, Which Tesla? Yeah. Winter or summer. Right. And so um, anyway. Um, you did what you could. I did what I could. But he was not anti. He was just, you know, he likes his gas guzzler, he said. Well, if he's got the money, I guess he could continue to like it. He's made up. I think that's a white Model 3 or Model Y in front of us. Just want me to break Speed, speed. up. <laughs> what do you think? It's the Model 3. And here we thought we were one of the only Teslas on these roads over here. Yeah. Can I spot a Tesla or what? Yeah, my girl's good. <laughs> yeah, it's a Model 3. Oh, and it's turning. Oh, and it's turning. <laughs> good thing that we um, sped up. Right. Hopefully they didn't turn because of us. Because you come up on them so fast. <laughs> we'll assume they live down that way. Yeah. God, just look at the sky now. Yeah. And the sun behind us. So pretty. Yeah. from a shadow that's that spot in the road yeah, where it just, just breaks something, <laughs> something's missed there either direction night or day it slows down to 40 something 
but it doesn't change the speed limit. It just slows down. Right. Well, when I get my dream trip to, you know, talk to Elon and his staff, <laughs> his team of people, yeah. that's going to be one of my questions. Please explain to me why, for no apparent reason and no shadow, the car occasion has these spots where every time you go past it, it slows. We want to know what's, what's up with that. Call it the Tesla conspiracy theory. Right. That's one of those kingfisher birds. Way cool. I want his picture. I know y'all couldn't see him, but I can see him. He's on the tip of that branch over there. Way cool. Heard his bird call and everything. What we're seeing here is the same thing we saw at Raven Rock. Everybody outside having a good time today. It's minivan mecca. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over here at South Park, but something more than nothing. People going on the trail, the walking trail, the path, the playgrounds open over here now that they can do so. Oh, they're doing something fancy to the house. Yeah, boy, well, they added that little pump building. building over there. Yeah, this summer. Don mostly wanted to get the bugs off the front grill. So, he sprayed some stuff on and now he's power washing. Losing the light though. Losing the light. You get all the bugs off yeah. yeah the front of the car looks much better but you know Don's got that wax stuff on there that helps with uh, getting them all off so that's good <laughs> 